But Donnie O'Malley says there's a complete disconnect between what TV producers think real life vets want to see and what they actually want to see. And he's doing something about that with Vet TV. Good morning, Donnie. How are you, man? Doing awesome. Great to be here. Good. First of all, okay, we had a little talk in the green room. I know you, you, sometimes you don't like thank you, but I'm just going to say thank you for what you've done for this country. You say it's really no big deal, and, and, and you had a good time doing it. I did, yeah. I'm, I, I, I'm lucky. I had a fortunate experience. I was able to, um, to serve my country in the exact capacity that I wanted, to do the deployments that I wanted, and... Um, and no one from my unit died, so I'm lucky. Oh, that is awesome to hear yeah. that. Okay, but you also know there's a very very real part of coming home to, I guess, the real world or the civilian world and having to transition. And your vet TV is, is to, to help with that, right, for veterans? Yep. Explain that. So um, it is in our nature in the military, regardless of branch, but especially the Marine Corps, just because of the intensity of the experience and the, the pain of the experience is generally greater in the Marine Corps, but it's our nature to laugh at pain, suffering, tragedy, and trauma. How you deal with it. Yeah, regardless of whether you're standing around waiting for the word all day long or somebody just got hurt in combat, humor gets us through the day, and it's dark humor. When we come home, we, uh, we are afraid to expose our dark humor to civilians. Okay. So we end up repressing what is this natural instinct of ours. That's not good. So the intent here is to create an environment, a television network, that is full of the kind of humor that we all appreciate. So this is an outlet for vets. Absolutely. Plus, it's entertaining. Now, I know there's a very real story, though. There's four parts. I think we talked about this a little bit earlier. You, there's four parts to each of the, would we, what I call them, episodes on YouTube mm -hmm. that you can see with Vet TV. Mm -hmm. You've got the comedy aspect, or what you would call the skit with the actor and the subject matter. Mm -hmm. But then you've also got the fundraising or the charity part of it and all of that. Yep. So this is actually just one show on a network that will eventually have hundreds of shows in the right. long term. Um, but the first show is intended to have uh, a sketch comedy that parries a, parodies a very serious issue. Um, generally, for us, because our brains are a little weird, the more serious the issue, the harder we laugh. Okay. So we parody a very serious issue, then we have a discussion about that issue, and then we have a nonprofit that uh, comes on to the show. If you were to th uh, think about um, uh, Stephen Colbert on The Colbert Report, yes. at the end of each episode, he had someone uh, come on to the show who was promoting a book or promoting something good they were doing for humanity. We're doing the same thing. We're going to have a nonprofit that is helping veterans in some capacity related to whatever issue we're making a joke of. So we're not, it, it's, it's my nature to make a joke of everything, but it's my nature to have good intentions. So what, we're, what we want to do is use the humor that we all love to get attention and then use that attention to do something good for the community. Okay, and you're going to be at Clever Talks. Tell us about the event and how folks can see you. Uh, so Clever Talks is a nonprofit. Um, the most simple way to describe it is a, um, the veteran-specific brand of TED Talks. Um, they're not related, but that's an easy way to yeah, explain what it is. And um, uh, I'm going to be on a panel of other veteran entrepreneurs uh, speaking about my experiences uh, creating a nonprofit, which I created first before Vet TV, and then uh, what I've done with Vet TV. So that's going to be a, a very um, an educational experience for everyone who attends, civilian or veteran, but most especially veterans who we're trying to speak to. That's going to be so fantastic. You yep. saw the information on your screen. Sign up for Vet TV. You do not have to be a vet to watch it. And although I was not a vet, I have that dark humor as well. I'll admit that. So I want to be on one of your, uh, one of your skits or your segments. How's that? If you can act, you're on. I don't know if I can act. We'll try. Okay. Thank you, my man. You're welcome. So much. All right, still to come.